Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Obviously I don't make these often because I struggle to explain things but just know that all of my Royal High cosplay videos can be used as vague tutorials so don't feel as though you're only limited to items I rarely make tutorials on. You can make anything you like. But anyway, in this video I'll be showing you how to make the Ruffle Top Hat by Ocean Orbs. This is a very easy item to make with no sewing involved. You'll need a hot glue gun, some fabric scissors and some normal scissors, some old tights, some lace and some ribbon, and then just some black fabric and things to trace around and of course your cardboard. Now to make the rim of your hat you'll need something round to trace around. As you can see I've just made a circle with that and I'm using a smaller thing to create the inside of the rim of the hat. And you'll need to make four of these when cutting the circles out, remember to save the inside bit of the cardboard because that will be used as the top of the hat. And like I said, you just want to make four of these. And you will actually need to make a fifth one, but with this one you want to make it a little bit smaller than the other four because this will be used as the curved bit that sits just on top of the rim of the hat and the last thing to do is to make the tube part and you could literally just use a toilet paper tube for this bit um i'm just awkward like this and <laughs> i don't think things through um but yeah you can either use a toilet paper tube or do what I'm doing and cut out a long rectangle and fold that up. After the cardboard has been curled I glue it into a tube shape and I kind of use the one of the other pieces as a guide to how big I need to make the tube. And with your smaller circle piece, you'll just want to kind of curve the sides up, like that. Now, I promise this will make much more sense later, but what you want to do is glue any scrap pieces of cardboard to one of the uh, bigger cardboard pieces. And you want to do that a second time. Once you've glued all that scrap cardboard down, you want to put one of the other circles on top of that. You basically just made a cardboard sandwich. <laughs> and this is what you should have. Now would be a great time to check that the tube can fit into all the pieces. If it doesn't, then you can obviously cut the inside bits a bit more or you can readjust the tube if you made it like I did which is what I did because I made it a little bit too big and I basically just re-glued it a little bit smaller. Now it's time to actually cover them with fabric so I took my tights and I cut the end of them off and basically just started covering them with the tights. And here's how it works with the donut shapes. You basically kind of put it over so the raw edges are actually on the inside of the circles. Now with the other circles, I just kind of cut out squares of the fabric and stretched that over the circles. Like it was much easier to cut the tights out beforehand and then obviously just put them over the donut. 
Now with the very top part, you do not need a tube of fabric, that is just one layer of fabric. Basically just uh, glue the circles together and then you want to just glue the fabric down on the underside. And you can just trim the excess fabric off. Now the difficult part is actually gluing the lace down. I burnt myself several times whilst doing this so please do be careful um, pleating your lace as you glue it down. As you can see I just burnt myself then. <laughs> pleating lace does take a while so do be patient with it. And you also want to add lace to both of the um, the two other bits of cardboard that you had. Not on the sandwich, not on the smaller curved bit, but on the two other circles that you left alone after cutting out. Those are what you need to put lace on. Once the pieces were decorated, it was time to assemble the top hat. So what you want to do is take the two lace circles and sandwich the thick piece in between them two. I'm just cutting out the, um, the excess fabric so I can actually stick the pieces together. And make sure that you have your messy layer on the inside. So you're basically trapping the lace in between. Now I'm actually going to put the other side on the tube just to make sure that it's all nice and snug on there without any like lumps or anything so I'm just sorting out the fabric on that and I decided to cut off all of the excess fabric from the brim and then glue down the fabric that was on the tube. Then I squished down the sandwiched thing and made sure it was all in the right place before adding glue onto the bottom layer and obviously gluing the fabric down in the middle. Then I just slipped on the little circle just on top. This was really difficult to do because I kept having to pull the fabric back up but it is possible to do. You just have to pay attention to uh, where the fabric is but you can like just pull it down until it's sitting on the brim that you glued down. Then you want to use your ribbon to wrap around the hat. So just measure how much you need and then cut it off. And we're just going to set that ribbon aside whilst you sort out the top bit of your hat. So just glue down the leftover fabric at the top to make sure it stays in place. Once the fabric is secure, you can just glue your ribbon down. Uh, 
After that's on, you can just glue the top of your hat on the tube, like so. To make the buckle, you're going to want to cut out a rectangle and cut out the middle of that. Cutting the middle out is a little bit difficult, but it is doable with enough patience. And then you can colour it with any kind of gold marker or paint. As you can see here, I'm just using a sharpie, but on my other top hat, I used gold nail polish on that one. To make the clover that goes on the bow, I started out with a square bit of fabric and I just kind of took the corners off of it and then cut the sides. I'm not sure how to explain this so I'm just going to leave some diagrams just to give you guys an idea on how to cut the clovers. You can then glue the buckle down on the front of the top hat. And to make the bow that goes next to the buckle, you just get a bit of lace and fold it into a loop and then just get a bit of ribbon to glue in the middle of the ribbon, or the, the lace. <laughs> Then you just want to glue the clover onto the front of the bow and then of course attach the bow to the left, left or right side, I cannot remember. And lastly, to stick this to your head you're going to want some kind of like hair clips or headband, I decided to use hair clips on mine and just gluing them down. You can use whatever, you could use like a headband or anything like that. Anything to safely stick it to your head. And there you go, you now know how to make the ruffle top hat from Royal High. And yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a very easy thing to make compared to other things I've made. And yes, you will now be seeing footage of me throwing my ruffle top hats around in my garden because I wasn't too sure what to do with them. Now, if you did actually make this, I'd love to see it. Um, you could tag me on Twitter or Instagram or I might even see it on Reddit. Just, I'd, I'd just love to see um, people like making the top hats, it's, it's so cute. <laughs> of course, unlike in Royal High, my duplicates do not merge together and they in fact stack and take up more room. So I'm actually going to be giving away the top hat that I made in this tutorial to one of my UK viewers. So if you're outside of the UK, unfortunately you cannot enter this giveaway. Please just understand that shipping is expensive and I don't make enough money to ship to like the US and stuff so I'm sorry it's limited to UK residents only. Um, but there will be a form in the description of this video. To explain how the form is going to work, there will be a slot for you to put in a nickname or an online alias. Just something that I can put into a like name uh, picker or something like that. It does not need to be your real name. It can just be something that you're addressed by. And then in the second um, box, you can put an email that I can 
of course contact you by if you win the, the giveaway. I plan to end the giveaway at the end of this month. If there's any delays, then I of course will state it in my community tab. But yeah, I will give this top hat away at some point. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. And if there's anything I forgot to say, then I'll probably make another video addressing the giveaway.